Welcome to Wild Horse Innovations. In this video we're going to be reviewing the instructions for assembling the Econoprobe from the Wild Horse Innovations Econoprobe kit. Our first step will be to review the parts that come in the kit We'll then review the tools that are needed in order to complete the construction of the kit and then we will go into the actual construction of the Econoprobe. The parts that you will receive are the top cap for the body of the probe, the body itself, a cylinder with threading in both ends, the bottom cap differing from the top cap in that it has a large center hole and three threaded holes around that center hole a printed circuit board five grooves and six holes this is the contactor printed circuit board A tie wrap. We use that as strain relief on the stereo cable that connects the Econic probe to your DRO or CNC. This is a container of solder flux. It is more than adequate to complete the Econic probe kit. The hardened probe tip. This is a 1 8 inch. Spindle. This is a 1 quarter inch. Probe body with the three pins already installed. These are press fit so we install them for you before you receive the kit. The tool probe body with a tapped hole on the back side. The contactor spring. The tool probe debris cap, uh, cap, three 632 by one half set screws, one 1024 by one half set screw, six contactor balls, six inches of 94.4 solder that's 94 percent tin and four percent silver one three millimeter LED and one 10k resistor and of course the cable stereo cable for connecting the probe to your DRO or your CNC tools needed are a set of small needle nose pliers a set of small wire cutters one eighth inch 332nd Allen wrenches and depending upon which size spindle you have a 1 16th excuse me a 1 8th or 3 16th Allen wrench you need four drills 
either a number one or number two center drill, which I don't have right here, a number 35, a number 31, and a number 29 drill. I'd like to mention that the number 35 drill is the pilot drill for these holes and you can use anything smaller than a number 31 for these pilot holes. You need something to apply the flux. I use a children's watercolor brush and I cut the bristles very short leaving only about one-eighth of an inch of the bristles. You can use a toothpick or any suitable tool to apply the flux. I find it handy to also have a set of jeweler's prongs. I like using a set of self-closing fine point tweezers. Supplies that you'll need are a tube of silicon adhesive. This is clear RTV adhesive. Obviously a well used tube. Isopropyl alcohol. Common rubbing alcohol. This is used to clean the surfaces before you use the silicon adhesive to glue the printed circuit board to the bottom cap. And you may need a common file.